The Sean Wood Show is brought to you by Chickabitty Frozen Yogurt, Coach Wood's favorite frozen treat, The Citizens Bank, Moorhead's only locally owned bank, Larry Fan and Chevrolet Buick GMC, serving the area for more than 60 years. Santa for Builders, paving and sealing of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. The Kentucky Pain Institute, specialist in spine and joint relief. U.S. Bank, a financial partner of Moorhead State University. Eagle Finance, making loans to people, not credit scores. And by the Commercial Bank of West Liberty, committed to the rebuilding of our community. Hi everyone and welcome in to this edition of the Sean Wood Show from the campus of Moorhead State University and back in the studios here at Breckenridge Hall after a couple of weeks on the basketball court. Sean, OVC play, here we go. Uh, and started out with a win and a good one. Well, we'll take it. You know, we played uh, Southern Illinois at Edwardsville and we knew it would be a task and um, our guys stepped up to the challenge, did uh, what they were supposed to for the most part, and we did what we played this game for, is to get a win, and we got one. Talk about uh, how much of a confidence boost that is for your basketball team, because as you said, Coach Wayne Martin says, <laughs> you can't run the table unless you win the first one. No doubt about it, and the first one of any kind is, is, is always important sure. to give you a motivational boost and confidence uh, for the next one and the next one, and we needed this because of the tough, tough non-conference schedule that we had, so uh, hopefully the non-conference schedule has paid off, mm -hmm. uh, we can get something from it, and, uh, and we can take advantage of it moving forward into the OVC conference. How does practice change, if any at all? Uh, do you do practices different during conference play than you did non-conference? Does that change? Well, it does change a lot because now we're working on individual work, individual improvement mm -hmm. a day or so, and also just it's more preparation and just being sharp offensively and more of a scouting report, mm -hmm. more so than just actual practice. You get one, maybe two days of actual practice, but for the most part, it's working and keeping our individual skills sharp, shooting, ball handling, and then also timing and everything offensively. But for the most part, it's really preparing defensively, knowing where to be, how we're going to defend the team that we're going to play, the, play next. Coming up later in today's show, MSU women's basketball coach Tom Hodges will join us. But first, highlights of Moorhead State's win over SIUE at Johnson Arena. That's next, right here on The Sean Woods Show. Welcome back in to The Sean Woods Show, and very important to start the conference schedule out on a positive note. You did that against SIU Edwardsville. Uh, never really could put them away, but a win is a win in conference play. No doubt about it. And, you know, we just got done watching tape before I, walked, before I came over here and uh, saw some of the mistakes, why we didn't put them away. We just didn't seize the moment like we should have. You know, we got some steals, didn't capitalize on them, had a couple mishaps. But for the most part, we did what we needed to do to get a win, and that's what counts. Here's good down, downhill action in our dribble drive, and Mo Briggs was the recipient, recipient of that. Um, I thought we played with a lot of poise offensively and uh, got the ball where it needed to be in, in, in timely mat, uh, fashion. And uh, we made shots when we were supposed to, and I thought I was, I was very pleased with that. Sean, I thought the ball movement was very good last night, and Chad Posthumus was great on the board. Well, Chad Posthumus was a man on the board. Ooh, I mean, he had, he, had, he had 15 or 16 at the half. And uh, the record here is by the magnificent Kenneth Reed of 24. And, Chad was trying to get that, but yeah, he, he did what he needed to do for us to win. Now he's got to continue to get better offensively of honing his skills in and, and staying focused for the, for the whole 40 minutes. But for his first conference game and from where he started and where, we, where he is now, he's made vast improvements. And if he can t continue to improve uh, at this pace, he's going to be a pretty good player for us. Sean, you got double figures from Drew Kelly last night. That was good to see. That was very, very refreshing. We've been waiting on that for a long time. That's Angela Warner being tough, Angela Warner, getting in the seams and finishing like a man. There's Milton downhill. There's uh, Drew coming again, swinging it over. We didn't settle. You know, Milton didn't just settle for the three. He pumped fake. He got into the seam and took, put up jump shots. And we played like we were supposed to. We played with great poise offensively. Uh, down the stretch, didn't play as well as I wanted to knowing where the shot clock was when they went zone. But for the most part, especially in the first half, I couldn't ask for a better, for a better uh, 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 production in our guys. 
Chad, just a, a man on the boards. Yeah. In fact, he out-rebounded SIUE by himself in the first half easily, Well, 15 to 9. That's where recruiting comes in. You can't teach size. And he was the biggest guy on the court by far, and he showed it that night. That's good ball movement, penetrating kick, best basketball, give us an opportunity to rebound it. And Chad did that, and he kept the ball up. You he see, did. he kept the ball up. It's such a positive because and we've been it, working on that here all for the last week or so. There's Milton again, not settling, getting into the getting to the rack and finishing. And he goes to a strong side. Exactly. There he is now, not giving up defensively, cutting the guy off. We do the right things and we get a break. Another good game from Devon last night. He was solid. You know, he had six assists, but he had five turnovers. I wasn't happy with that. But he got the, he's getting better at seeing the floor and making the pass at the right time instead of passing when the guy's open, anticipating when the guy's open. So by the time the ball gets there, the guy's open. Mm -hmm. Just seeing over the top, Angelo over the zone. We, we did a good job there. We got to do more of that. We got to trust. We got to start trusting each other and making the right play. And that's good ball movement off a drive, another drive and kick. The extra pass. There shot. you go. And when anytime you make the extra pass, nine times out of ten, that shot goes down. Milton, a very good game last night. 16 points, 6 out of 15 from the field, 2 of 7 from the three-point line. But Edwardsville never quit, and you knew they would. No, and it's a conference game, and hey, you know, nobody in is never, not one game is going to be easy uh, from here on out. And uh, we just got to continue to stay focused and stay the course and do what we got to do to win games. Bakari Turner, you need him to be consistent. No doubt about it. He's been hurt. He got hurt uh, in the Union game, so he hadn't practiced all week, but that was good to see him come out and uh, hit his first jump shot. That was Drew Kelly finding his way, playing with a little more confidence, being poised, drilling out of the double team right here. Milton getting in the lane, passing to Chad. Dunk. That's down the stretch, and we need that was a big play for us. I think we were only up four at that particular Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Defense There's, pays off here. Chad walled up, and we got the ball out. And Milton Chavis does what he does best, getting out in, 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 the, in the open court and dunking the basketball. Moorhead State, a big win. And, and Sean, a, a win like that, of course, you were the favorite going in. But regardless of that, you have to protect the home court. In order for you to have a chance to win your league, you've got to protect the yes. home court and try to steal as many as possible on the road. And this was a start. Mm -hmm. Dave, we still got ways to go, as you know. But uh, I'll take wins as we get better. Stay with us when we come back. Highlights of Moorhead's last non-conference game as the Eagles host Union at Johnson Arena. That's next right here on the Sean Woods Show. Welcome back into the Sean Woods Show. Moorhead closing out the non-conference portion of the schedule at home against Union and and, Sean, uh, your team played well. I know it's not an OVC opponent, but still yet, execution was there, the effort was there, and, and a great win going into conference play. Well, we, we showed some character after not playing, after that poor performance against Southern Miss mm -hmm. and bouncing back and just trying to create some type of confidence in, 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 in the union game. And I thought we did that. I thought everybody came in and brought it, picked up the bootstraps, and, uh, you know, did what we needed to do to get the win. I thought defensively we jammed them. We were physical, and we posed our will on them. And that's just hustle right here, and we just get after it, and Angelo gets out on the break and finishes. Angelo runs the floor so well. He just plays so hard. He's, he's an athlete. He's hurting right now. He's ailing with his knees, but he's giving me everything he's got, and that's all I can ask for. There's Chad getting a, a bounce pass from Angelo and finishing. Chad, another good game, 10.6 rebounds against Union, and, and you need to see that every night. No doubt about it. He's got to be the force for us with his size and strength, and he's got to continue to get better every day. Milton, 23 minutes, 15 points, and he, he's starting to play better. No, he's had a good time of year. I told him, I said, you know, if you defend and you be the athlete all the time, especially defensively, yes. you, you're going to help us. You know, offensively, you're not going to get to that if you don't defend for me. I'm not going to play you. I'm going to jerk you. And uh, I think he's getting a message because he has the op he has the ability to to pose his will on almost every possession. He's that talented and that athletic. And w I just don't like kids to underachieve and not reach their full potential. And he's just at half right now. Speaking of Milton, do you think he realizes how good he is? You know, I don't know, but. <laughs> 
I'm doing everything in my power to, to let him know how good he can be. Good defense. No doubt about it. I mean, it was like that. He can finish. He's athletic. He can pose his will. He's long. He gets his hands on balls when he's in the game. There's a great rebound there by uh, uh, Bruce, Bruce Reed. Reed. Devon's coming down. Great kick under control. Bakari Turner knocks it down. The perfect fast break. No doubt about it. And Devon's getting better and better with his decision-making in the full court. There's Milton right there getting a steal. Let's see if he makes the right play. Bounce pass to Bakari. Bakari makes a tough finish. And this is where he turned his ankle right here. That's tough. There's a young Cordell James coming in. Ben Poise throwing a cross-court pass. That's good execution. That's good ball movement. It's Cordell James again, putting pressure on the ball, pushing it up. Good basketball. Again, the extra pass no leads to an easy it. basket. Playing with each other. There's another lob over the top, another pass. Chad gets through, misses the layup. Got to finish those. But we don't give up on the play. We stay with it. Mo Brace comes up with a steal in the bucket. Mo's got a nose for the basketball. No, yes, he does. Now he's just got to, his foot speed's got to get much faster. But we're working on that. There's Cordell James putting pressure on the defense, getting the ball out, and Bruce Reed hitting the jump shot. Is that a shot you want to see Bruce take? On well, a if, 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 he can, if, if he has the ability to, with Bruce, is just energy, body language, effort. He's a talented kid, but mentally he's got to be consistent. There's Chad with a good drive going to the basket. Chad is so, he's so agile. For his size, For he his is. size. For his size, he is. He, now he's got to think the game all the time. He has mental lapses at times, but he's relentless on the boards. See, he's just throwing it up right there instead of just finishing like right. a man. He was so, trying to pad his rebound stats. But he's, he's relentless on the exactly. board. You can't, you can't substitute that, and we still get something good out of it. Good play by Devon Ack. Good extra pass, and there's Bruce Reed again. <clears throat> I need Bruce, I'm trying to get Bruce to talk more. You know, now he comes and makes that play right there because right. he's not in great position. Exactly. He's got to be consistent in everything he does on and off the court. And that's been a task, but, you know, that's what we're working with with Bruce Reed. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll have Moorhead State women's basketball coach Tom Hodges in the studio. That's next right here on the Sean Wood Show.